Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy King J. We're gonna be talking about the 55-inch monitor from Philips in my studio. If you saw the studio tour video, you would have seen the 55-inch monitor. And I've always wanted to do a video that is kind of like just going over why I love this monitor so much. So 55-inch, 4K, you can do 120 Hertz for premium gaming or the next gen consoles like Xbox Series X and the PS5 premium sound bar. You have Ambiglow, there's so much going on. So first things first, let me just show you how it looks. I wanna say a big shout out to Philips for sending me the monitor. They said that it's not required to do a review, but I actually want to do a review because I enjoy the monitor and all the views are of my own. I haven't been told to make this look like a nice monitor for you lot to buy. This is all views of my own. All right, first things first is I done a review on the 32 inch monitor of the Philips Momentum and it never came with a soundbar, but this one comes with a premium soundbar from Bowers and Wilkins. Like, oh man, like, for me, like if you know about Bowser Weekends, you know that they are a premium brand when it comes to audio. So if you don't know, you could do your research, but it's definitely a premium brand and it comes with this monitor. Let me test the sound. You have six different modes to test your sound. RPG, adventure, sports and racing. There's loads of different types of stuff you can choose. And for me, I was just like, bro, this is actually going all out. Cause usually on these monitors, all you see is, all right, cool. You got like maybe two or three different modes and that's it. But this has six different modes, the remote, me it has it's all right i feel like it's a bit of a basic remote it does what it needs to do you know you got the brightness the volume and stuff like that i just tend to turn it up and down when it comes to volume and just switch it off there ain't really like any advanced options on a remote it's, it just does what it, what it says on the tin that's it really the monitor comes with a tv stand as well you don't have to attach it on it actually comes out of the box on the stand which is cool i have a unit over there which has all the consoles and then it just kind of sits nicely on it so you know you don't have to do any diy and build it up and stuff like that it's literally just comes out of the box like that so the ambiglow is described by philips as the halo of light from the monitor so it showcases the light at the back so you got a strip from the left to the right and at the top and it bounces back on the wall that shows a great light so you've got following the video colors so no matter what type of color show in the video it will show something similar and that will be bouncing off the off the wall you know if you got it close to the wall it just looks amazing but if you don't then it looks good but yeah it needs to be close to the wall once it's got, got it close to the wall you can see the colors and they look very very bright it goes really bright you've also got a random showcase of colors and then you've got a single color showing but you can just have it off it's entirely up to you i just think it's a fancy feature a sound bar is a great thing for me personally because it's good hearing it come out of the monitor and stuff but it just never sounds that great but it it has integrated woofer mid height and tweeters for that cinematic listening experience you know when you're watching a film and stuff you don't want to be hearing that tinny sound or not like there's no bass or anything you want to be hearing some type of just clarity and bass and that's what it packs in this Philips Momentum 55 inch monitor. TV stand, yeah, I never really, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a person that really likes to do too much DIY, but this actually comes out with the stand, so it's a win-win for me, and I think a lot of people are like that, where they just kinda just wanna take it out, plug it up, and see what's going on with the monitor, and yeah, this is, is exactly like that. In terms of the panel, the panel is made out of, so it's, I feel like it's plastic slash metal, so you, on the side, it's got this metal type of finish, and then like, on the front of the panel, kind of like on the outside, it looks like it's plastic. The general specs of it is 4K at 120 hertz for the next gen gaming, Xbox and PS5, they both support that. There's also the 60 hertz in 4K, they also have 2560 by 1440 as well, that is at 120 hertz. They also pack HDR 1000 plus so if you know about that HDR and stuff it enhances the colors and stuff and the contrast 
when you're watching you know your films or even if you're playing the games next most next gen consoles do have hdr as well so you're going to be seeing a very very nice display when it comes to this monitor response time i know a lot of gamers are going to want to know about the response time so when it comes to response time it has four millisecond gray to gray so what that means is when you press a button on your pad it doesn't display until four milliseconds later usually on monitors the go-to time especially for fighting games i'm a fighting game player it should be one millisecond so you have the exact time so you can react to things if you got it four milliseconds it's gonna be delayed by four milliseconds so when it comes to certain other games, like driving games, action adventure, it doesn't matter that much. But reaction based games, like fighting games, it, it does matter. So yeah, for me, my opinion, I would probably play more action adventure games when it comes to this monitor and not fighting games. There's also a low input lag. USB 3.2, they have four of them. They actually have four ports and this is the latest and the fastest connection currently for USB. The monitor also comes with an audio in and out, which is for the headphone out. So if you got, if you want to put headphones in, in this big 55 inch, you can. It also has multi-view as well, where it has PIP and PBP mode, which if you've got two HDMI connections, you can showcase two different things at the same time as well. So maybe you want to watch a film or you want to watch a stream and then also be able to play a game. You can actually do that as well. I've actually have my Nvidia 4K shield plugged into my monitor. So that I can just watch things so like you know gaming anime twitch streams and YouTube like it is it comes with the ultimate package by just using connecting those two together I, I watch streams on there while I'm editing and so much things man it's it's just good Crunchyroll is always on there when I'm watching anime like if they you know if Sunday and Attack on Titan episode is going on I'm gonna watch it on this monitor because it just looks so sick watching anime in 4k I love this monitor like I love it so much like I just love it so much. To bullmark the price on the monitor, it's 1,200. I don't know how much it will be, but this is in 2022 May. That is 1,200. So I'm gonna list the pros and the cons here. Let me know what you lot think in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe if you like more videos like this and leave a comment as well if you want more videos like this. Remember to subscribe because that supports the channel. It lets me know that people are interested in my content and smash the like button if you like videos and you want to see more like this you know i could do probably comparisons i may be able to showcase this video to phillips and maybe they can say hey look there's a lot of engagement there's a lot of thumbs thumbs up we can probably do more content like this i'm going to the monitor to go and watch something man i'll be honest see you later take it easy peace